men just like that. Can anybody tell me what you think I do for a living? Or on top of that, what's my career? I pastor a church. <laughs> I pastor a church full of time. <laughs> Went from running the streets to having playing a part in God's church. I got church members under me that's looking to me to see the master one day. God can change anybody. Where you are right now is not who you are right now. It's just where you are right now. <laughs> Let me say that again. Where you are right now is not who you are. It's just where you are right now. It's just a small piece of your life. Your life is like this big. It's just a small piece. And if you allow what happened in this small piece to affect your future, then you can gave up in this little small piece. Abraham Lincoln was in a, a, a Salon Asylum. He was in a crazy house. His girlfriend died from cancer. He went crazy. He was in a straight jacket. A Abraham Lincoln was in a straight jacket. If anybody would have walked in that crazy house and looked in that room and seen Abraham Lincoln, they would have no idea they was looking at the next president of the United States. Where you are right now is not who you are right now. It's just where you are right now. If you allow right now, I work, I'm a pastor full time and I work at a detention center with kids just like y'all at a boys facility, all boys facility. So talking like this, it, it, it comes easy. I'm trying to get up in your soul on today. I'm trying to let you know that somebody understands you and where you are right now is not who you got to be. You still can be great. I see lawyers. I see doctors. I see NBA players. I see football players. I see counselors. I see rehabilitation uh, directors. I, I see it right here in this group. But it'll never happen until you believe it. Dad may not have been in your life. Mama may not have been in your life. You may not have the right support you need. It's okay. You still can be great. My dad walked out of my life, and I wrote this poem years ago saying, if I can call my dad on the phone, this is what I want to tell my dad. And with him not calling on Father's Day, with him not calling me for my birthday, with him not showing up for Christmas, it took a toll on my life. And when I picked up the pen and I began to write this poem, I tried my best to put so much passion in it, and I tried my best to articulate my true feelings, but I don't even think this poem can really define how deep the pain and the hurt really was. It's called Voicemail of Dad, and this is what I want to leave on his voicemail if I can ever call him. 